I get lost a few times in the maze but eventually find my way back out. Alright. As I return to the main estate, I decide to go back to town and see what else is going on. I walk down the drive until I reach the cobbled streets of town. I think I'll finally spend some me time, okay, alone time. I wander around town checking out the shops and the sites. It's not too different from most of the places you have visited so far, although I do notice how clean and well kept the place is. Once the sun begins to dip in the sky, I head back towards the mansion. Alright, so we're going to meet Liana's parents for the first time, and also her brother, yeah, in the evening. The sky is streaked with rosy pinks and soft golds. A few silver stars wink in the mist. Hmm, okay. I meet up with my friends in front of Diana's estate. This evening, nice, nice glow to the Diana's mansion. We start our way up the gravel path again. The pango sits on my shoulder as Kara walks next to Zack. I wonder what Liana's family is like. Well, we'll find out. Zack trucks. I am most curious to meet them as well. Most likely, they're a pair of aristocrats, you know. Hey. Even Pango's excited. I have a feeling they're probably more traditional minded. I bet they're nice. They're probably uptight. Speculating is pointless. Well, as much as I would like to say this, as speculating is pointless. I mean, let's not let's not just dismiss their opinions. You know, I mean, you know, say just saying speculating is pointless. Uh, makes you come off as being rude. Yeah. So I'll just say I have a feeling they're probably more traditional. Either this or I bet they're nice. Uh, because this one may sound a bit rude. I think I bet they're nice pair of people. I hope, I seriously hope so, you know. Maybe they're similar to Liana. So then they would probably be both selfless and caring. Oh, you really like Liana, don't you? Of course, you know, I have to, you know, uh, if, even if Liana might, I mean, you know, no matter what her parents are like, I have to think positively, you know, you know. <laughs> what? It's not a bad thing. It's sweet. Sweet. Yeah, it is. We make our way up the massive stone staircase leading to the front, front door. So we're going in. Alright. Uh, Scrogins answers the dog in. Oh. Welcome back. Please do come in. Ah, oh, interesting. Nice looking mansion. This mansion, right, this background kind of looks a bit like the. Remember the. The, you know the hall back in Wu's stand, you know those gambling halls? And also one of the halls that we infiltrated to take down the shadow mage. Yeah, it kind of looks like uh, that hall, except it, uh, there's also a bit of a difference at the same time. Uh, because now there's like two, uh, what you call it, two curved staircases. Yeah, going upwards. And then there's a symbol, it looks like a sundial. Yeah, some kind of clock actually, yeah, sundial or clock, yeah. We carefully file through the doorway and into the front hall. My breath catches as I look around. A massive chandelier made of sparkling crystals hangs from the center of a high ceiling. The marble floors shine at my feet, so polished they look wet. Long hall stretch ahead to countless doors. A bouquet of flowers sits atop of the hall table and a magnificent staircase sweeps in the center of the room. Amy cleans her neck, her eyes wide as she looks around. Zack looks appreciatively at the decorative swords on the wall. Wow. Well, I don't see the swords, but okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Mesmerizing. The Pango's eyes glitter up at the crystal chandelier. Oh no. Uh, Pango, there's no magic in the... Oh, actually, there is. <laughs> I mean, this chandelier is definitely powered by crystals, right? His mouth seems to water just looking at it. Holy boy. Don't, don't eat them though, Pango. I give him a gentle poke, snapping him out of it. Boy? Yeah, snap out of it. <laughs> I shake my head. Nope. Pango, nope. He deflates, pouting against my shoulder. Yena arrives and gives us a worried smile. Worried smile. How was your time in town? It's good. Yeah, I've spent a lot of time with you, especially Yena. Great! There were so many cute things at the shops. Yeah, a lot of cute things, including lingerie. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> she twists her hands nervously and falls quiet again. Uh, how have things been going here? Oh, uh, fine. Doesn't look fine to me. 
wait for her to continue. She looks blankly at me, then seems to remember. Oh, dinner will be ready in a few minutes. If you all want to wash up first. Wash up? Um, okay. Exchange glances. Aren't we like going to meet your parents and your brother first before we have dinner? So we're just going to meet them at the dining table. Are you sure you're okay? Did you get a chance to see your parents? Pretty sure she did, and I think they are probably not happy. But well, no. I mean, I'm fine, but I haven't seen my parents yet. Oh. But that's okay because Leo hasn't arrived yet. And I guess my father has some big news that he insists on sharing with both of us. Eh? Well, actually, if we're about to eat dinner, then I think that means Leo probably has arrived? So you're saying that Leo, your brother Leo hasn't arrived. That's kind of worrying. Actually, that's not kind of worrying. That's really worrying. The words pour out of her mouth as if she can't control them. She finally pauses to catch her breath. Come now, Nana. I've never seen her this nervous before. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be okay. She nods and takes a deep breath to calm herself, then gives me an appreciative smile. You're right. I'm sure you're right. Yeah, I'm definitely right. <laughs> she leads us towards our rooms to wash up. We, we each have separate rooms, a testament to just how large this mansion is. My room has eggshell blue walls trimmed with silver. Can I like, take a look at my room? Curtains flutter in the soft breeze of open crystal doors leading to a balcony. I notice the bed filled with plush looking blankets and pillows. I cannot wait to dive into that, please don't do that. You know, don't want to mess with other, you know, uh, but, but then again, this is going to be my mansion soon. <laughs> I think. Instead, I quickly wash up using the white basin shaped like a seashell. Then meet the others downstairs. Oh, it's already night time and we can tell the, the glow. Yeah, the background glow. Diana waits for us again. I look her up and down and blink in surprise. Is she dressed in a different outfit? Oh, I can't wait to see how she's dressed now. Why are you still wearing your armor? Oh, you're still wearing your armor? Don't you like have to change or something? Or oh, you want to prove to your parents that? Yeah, show your parents that I am a mage knight now. Okay. She blinks. What else would I be wearing? Like dress, I would like to see you in a different outfit. <laughs> I thought your family didn't know about you being a mage knight. They don't, but. But you don't mind just telling them that you're a mage knight. I I admire your bravery. Yeah, that, I, I admire your courage. That's good. No, not I. I don't mean any sarcasm, really. That that's good. She hesitates. I don't want to keep it a secret from them anymore. See, yeah, you go, girl. Is that why you're so nervous? It's a big reason I am. I'm not sure how they'll react. Well, you won't know unless you, you know, face them and tell them the truth. Or, or the bounce of Kara's <laughs> movies and yeah, the the uh putting her hands together. Kara puts a comforting hand on the Anna's arm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Your family loves you. I sure hope so. But yeah, gotta be positive, but also be prepared for the worst, but yeah, hope for the best as well. Okay, here we go. Diana nods. She smiles to reassure us, but worry still creases her brow. Scrogins arrives. He looks surprised at Diana. I think he expected her to change her clothes as well, but he doesn't say anything. Instead, he leads us to the dining hall. Okay. A heavenly scent hits me in the face as soon as I enter. A long table fills the room full of delicious looking food. I wonder what's the good news then? Diana's father has to share. Steve walks from lamb chops, chicken, bread, lobster, vegetables. Holy shit, that's a lot of great food. <laughs> lamb chops even. It's been a while since I ate, ate lamb chops. But, but lobster even, yeah, wow. My stomach rumbles. This looks like it's going to be the best meal I've ever had. Let me just look again. Yeah, a lot of great food. A young man clad in sparking, uh, sparkling white armor stands in front of a huge crystal window. Oh, that must be Diana's brother. He looks to be a few years older than Diana. His back is straight and he holds his head high, exuding an air of regality and authority. Alright, I think we're definitely going to see his portrait. He seems to be absorbed in thought and doesn't notice our arrival. Diana beams. Leo! Hey! Her brother looks up from the window. 
when he notices Liana a wave of surprise flickers across his face. Leah? This is a surprise. Wow. See, like like brother, like sister indeed. Both having blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. They're both wearing the same beige line outfit. You see the white and blue stripes and all. Yeah. But why are you surprised, uh, Leon? You you know that Liana is coming, right? <laughs> okay, but okay, apparently Leon Okay, Leon is his full name, okay, Leon Don, but both of both Liana and Leon call each other by their nicknames, by their shortened nicknames. Uh Liana being Lee and Leon being Liu. Did father call upon you too? Oh, he didn't know that Liana's father caught him caught her, I mean. Liana nods. She walks over to him and hesitates. He pauses, then opens his arms wide. They embrace each other light, uh, tightly, but only for a brief moment before separating. Leon adjusts his armor, and his brows wrinkle as he looks over Liana. How do you know his name is Leon, Pixar? Liana has only been mentioning his name as Leo. Oh yeah, but I think maybe he did, she did mention his full name? Yeah. Liana notices his expression and worriedly smooths down her armor. All each other. Not some things, a lot of things. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, Leon definitely sees that. His voice is flat and hard to read. Liana squirms under his face. This does explain why you were always out of town whenever I would be in Illumia. Oh, you you were in Illumia looking for Liana? And here I was thinking you were just trying to skip out on work. Oh, she's not. She's just out out on the field doing her work. His face remains expressionless. But Liana relaxes and a genuine smile graces her lips. Sorry about that. Duty calls, as you know. I do indeed. Okay. Judging by Liana's body language, Leon must be accepting of her decision to be a mage knight. He doesn't seem too surprised by this fact either. I'm actually not surprised either. Yeah. Uh, I think Liana's brother is a really cool guy. Yeah, he, he accepts whatever decision Liana makes. Now the problem is her parents. Probably because of all the sword training the two of them did together when they were younger. I knew she didn't have to be worried. Uh, you spoke. You speak too soon. It's a wait until she meets her parents. That will be the real deal. Leon's face softens. Do mother and father know? No. <laughs> Leona shakes her head. The worry returning to her face. Leon looks grim. He finally seems to notice us. Hey. Oh, you brought company. Of course. Please introduce us. Diana introduces each of us. He greets us warmly. I hope you've all been keeping her out of trouble. I know how much of a handful <laughs> she can be. Nah, uh, she's she's been really helpful. Trust me. She keeps me out of trouble. Trouble follows her everywhere. It's exhausting taking care of her though. She definitely keeps me out of trouble. Okay. And it is the other way around. Diana is the one who keeps me out of trouble. Diana looks amused. Is that so? Yeah. Yeah, if it weren't for her, I don't know where I would be right now. Like that, there was that one time when I, well, well, I saved Liana from a shadow ball, shadow mag uh, magic ball. Yeah, but uh, but okay, that's another thing. But still, but a lot of times she also trained me and all that. So I'm indebted to Liana, that, and that's part of why I love her. I cast a lingering smile in Liana's direction, which she reciprocates. When I look away, I notice Leon's gaze on me. Ah, uh, was I being too obvious? <laughs> I think Leon probably knows. I mean, probably probably suspects it. I see from Q, the big door creak open. Oh, here comes Leona's parents. Okay, the big showdown. The Lord and Lady Dawn. Here we go, the two masters. The master and mistress of this family, of this mansion. A beautiful older woman stands there. Her arm linked with who I'm assuming is her husband. Um, <laughs> you, can, you could have easily put this the other way around, you know. But, I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> Loose golden curls fall at, on her shoulders. A smile delicate and soft. Why is the woman the first person you, you, you see? Fix <laughs> her? Why not the man? <laughs> but anyway, she's wearing an elegant cornflower blue gown and spark. Jewels. You're, you're pervert, Pixar. The woman is the first person you notice, and not the man. 
Liana's father has a strong jaw and Liana's blue eyes. His hair is also blonde, but the, pen, uh, the tempers are peppered with silver. Oh, the, the eye tempers. Yon marches over to his parents and offers them a short bow. Mother? Father? Okay. Leon. Oh, Haven Don is Liana's father's name. And he looks kind of menacing. <laughs> he, he really looks kind of menacing. Yeah. His father nods as Leon straightens, his eyes sparkling with pride. He clasps his son on the shoulder. You look fine as always. Still doing that armor justice. Hey, look at look at Liana, please. Thank you, father. His mother smiles warmly and envelops him in a hug. Okay, let, now let's look at uh, Liana's mother. Oh, Leon, it's been too long. You don't come home enough. Uh, come on now, you two. Leon is the first person you see, and you all been showering praises on Leon. What about Liana? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, but Inane Dawn, okay, is Liana's mother's name. Uh, she doesn't look that old, you know. I'm sorry, mother. I wish I could, but. Wait, you wish you could what? Oh, come home, okay. I know, I know. I'm just being fussy. It's good to see you home again. Thank you. Okay. Throughout the interaction, Nana hangs back. Better hide behind me. I will protect you! <laughs> her father's gaze lands on her and his eyes harden. Here we go. Liana, what in the blazes are you wearing? Well, Liana, tell them the truth. The room falls silent as everyone's attention fixes on her. Liana? You, you two are shocked, right? Liana holds her head high. Hello, mother. Father. As you can see, I'm a mage knight. She dips in a small curtsy. Is this another one of your little fantasies? Nope, it's no longer fantasy. It's reality! Wake up your mind, father! <laughs> His tone is less stern and more of confusion. Okay? At least, it, okay, she's it's like really confused. Maybe when... But I don't know what happens when realization sh strikes him. We have to see. Nana's mother glances at her husband with concern before looking back at Nana. Perhaps you should wear something a bit more appropriate for dinner, dear. This is appropriate, Elaine. I mean, mother. <laughs> no, mother. This is the armor I chose to wear as a mage knight. Yes. Diana's voice rings clearly, but I can see her hands trembling. Again, there is a pause. I hold my breath. The tension makes the air feel thick. We have to step in, I think. Finally, Lord Dawn pass. Well, no matter. That is something which will be addressed later. Alright. For now, your mother and I have some news. Okay, what news is this? Please, let's all be seated. Yeah, we'll address this later. Not, not important right now. More important is this news. <laughs> good thing, good thing. At least, a uh, brief respite. Yeah. A brief, uh, tem temporary, yeah, break from, from this, yeah, from the confrontation. Yeah, brief respite. He and his wife sit at the head of the table with Liana and Yon on either side of them. The rest of us silently fill in the empty seats. I wish we could have another background with the dining table. Yeah, we have looked more realistic. Liana, dear, you haven't introduced us to your guests. Yeah, Liana, please, don't be nervous. Of course. Mother, father, these are my companions. They are accompanying me on one of the assignments the Mage Guild has instructed me to investigate. As a mage knight. See, Liana has to emphasize as a mage knight. <laughs> her mother and father ignore the last bit of her sentence. We welcome you into our home. Thank you. It is an honor. Oh my god. Then the, the look the parents look at Kara like, what are you wearing? <laughs> Your hospitality is much appreciated. At, at least Kara and Amelia are being polite, you know. Thanks. Hey, come on now, Zach, you shouldn't be saying thanks. You should be more polite. Thank you. Or thank you very much. Not thanks. <laughs> thank you. See, at least I know how to be polite. Thank you. Or, uh, uh, your, or if you want it in an even more formal way, say in, a, in an even more formal, formal way, it will be, your hospitality is much appreciated, like what, what, like what Amy said. <laughs> Don gives us a curious look. And are you all colleagues from the Mage Guild? 
yeah, pretty much, although we're not magic wielders. Well, Ibi is. Well, I mean, I, I, I do use magic, but that's because Leanna taught me. No, Amy is a student mage caster from the Mage Academy. Both of Leanna's parents look impressed. A mage caster at such a young age. You must be very extraordinary. She is. Indeed. Your parents must be quite proud. That is not an easy achievement to reach, no matter the age. Yeah. Thank you for your kind words. Lena introduces Zack and Kara next, but hesitates when she gets to me. Why? <laughs> well, you say you're going all out, right? So might as well introduce me as, you know, you know as your girlfriend. I mean, I mean, as your boyfriend. <laughs> Just go for it, you already choose to reveal everything, you already choose to reveal yourself as a mage knight. So might as well just reveal that. Here is my boyfriend. My pixel and I'm studying wind magic, learning sword fighting, I'm training to be a mage knight. Hmm. Uh, huh. This one. <laughs> but this one will be like rock, kind of like rock even more sword to the wound. <laughs> like, yeah, even more emphasis that I'm training to be a mage knight. <laughs> uh, learning sword fighting, I'm studying wind magic. Ah, but this is kind of a tough choice. I'm studying wind magic. Because this two kind of seems like not significant. I think like, we should you know, we should emphasize on this point. Okay, I'm training to be a mage knight. We, we should hit it home. Okay, hit it home. I'm training to be a mage knight. So, I've been studying how to be a mage knight from Vienna. My parents' expressions darken. <laughs> and what exactly have you been studying? I shall explain. She's taught me sword fighting and how to cast. Those two skills alone do not make a mage knight. Well, well, yeah, but still. She's also taught me how to do those things simultaneously. His case shifts to Diana as his frown, frown deepens. Knowing how her family feels about her being a mage knight, I wanted to stick up for Diana, but I think I may, might have just made things worse. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, <laughs> maybe I got some negative points. Shit. Ah. Uh, mm. <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe I should rewind a bit, so I'll see you a bit. Alright, so we're back in this choice. So, because I just want to be like, right, I like want to support Diana by saying Mage Knight, but I guess I kind of like made the wrong choice because her parents don't seem too happy. I mean, actually we should, we should save this issue for later, right? Yeah, we shouldn't like hit it home even further uh, as to make things worse and make my relationship with Diana's parents even worse. When I'm... When I'm supposed to want to get married to, eventually get married to Liana, so if I don't, actually now I'm, that I'm meeting Liana's parents, it's like, it's indirectly sort of like giving giving them a good impression or, yeah, indirectly giving them a good impression because we need to, I need to give Liana's parents a good impression right here, even though, even though Liana and I have not been officially recognized as a couple in front of uh, Liana's parents yet, but we, I still need to make the first, the good first impression, so that later down the road when we officially reveal our relationship, Liana's parents will be more supporting of us. Yeah, so I cannot like, yeah, make things worse. Like, so choose choosing this one will actually make things worse. Like, you're actually adding fire to the fuel, right? <laughs> yeah. So okay. So it's either studying wind magic or learning sword fighting. Um. I guess I should choose this one. I think this is definitely the best choice because what the Diana's parents know of Diana is that uh, she she learns she she's learning to be a mage, right? As a researcher, so it's have has something to do with wind mag with magic. I mean, so yeah, I should actually just choose. I'm studying wind magic. I've been learning how to cast wind magic from Diana. Diana's father not approvingly. Of course. Liana is an excellent mage, as are all dawns. Well, she is an excellent mage, yeah. Liana's jaw twitches at her father's side, but she doesn't say anything. Well, we will, we'll, com we'll, we'll confront this with them later. You know? Yeah. Once introductions are over, we begin to eat. We sit in silence for a while. The only sound is the clinking of silverware. Liana takes a bite of a stew, her favorite food. She smiles and sighs, practically melting in her chair. Mm -hmm. 
compared to the food from home. Made by... It, was it cooked by Yana's mother? Or was it by the, the maids? Or the chefs? Pretty sure they have chefs here. Her mother looks delighted. Do you like it, dear? Okay, so it's cooked by Yana's mother. Yes, of course. It tastes just the way I remember. Ah, okay. I'm happy to hear that. Your mother insisted on cooking it herself, even though I told her that's what we hire the chefs to do. Yeah, so yeah, this family does have chefs. Yeah. But but Liana's mother is the one was the one who cooked it herself. Because nothing beats home home cooked food. Nothing beats food cooked by your loved ones, right? Yana blinks. You didn't have to do that. Why not? You know, it's been a long time you after all. I know, dear. But I remembered how much you enjoyed it when you were little. Yeah, you know, it's like nostalgia. Thank you. In a small broadens as she takes another bite. Yon takes a bite of the rose. And was this your doing too, mother? Rose? Chicken rose, huh? She smiles and puts her hand over her husband's. Oh! Her hus he, uh, Le 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 Leanna and Leon's father is the one who cooked the food? The chicken rose? Actually, it was your father. So, hey, 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 Liana's father, you want to talk. You said, you told your, your wife you don't have to cook, but you yourself cooked chicken rolls for Leon. Both Liana and Leon look at their father with surprise. Father stains Lord Don's cheeks. It's not often we have the family together again, and with such good news too. Then you should have for your 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 waifu <laughs> not to cook. Liana and her brother exchange glances. Belief seems to point to Liana's face. At least it's good news. But what's the good news? What news, father? Yeah, time to review it. His parents glance at each other, then Lady Dawn clasps her hands together, flushing with enthusiasm. I hope it's not something that ties Liana down because she still has a mission to fulfill, which is the yeah, the taking down the the point. Liana, we have found you an excellent Shit. partner. You are to be engaged as soon as possible. Shh, what? No, <laughs> no, I can't. I can't have that. Shit. Okay, now this is being too traditional. This ain't good news. This is being too traditional. Shit. And Liana has found the love of her life. That's me, Pixel Fate. What the heck? No. The entire dining room freezes. What? Her father beams. Come now, Liana. Don't act so surprised. We've been waiting for this day for a long time now. And we're pleased to announce your engagement to the House of Pennington. Okay, I, I can't have this. I seriously can't have this. Liana will not have any of this shit too. Okay? Yana's face is white with shock. Seriously, no! The room spins. I feel dizzy. Panic spikes my chest. It's hard to breathe. It is. Yana is getting engaged? That nudges me the rip's heart. I jerk, willing to face him. He gives me a pointer look. I better get my act together. How can I? They just announced my girlfriend is to be engaged. Yana can totally refuse this, okay? But, you know, the thing is, I think, you know, if I had been cold towards Diana all the way, right, from the beginning of the vision of her until now, then probably when Liana gets engaged, I'll be like, oh, congratulations, and then Liana gets engaged to, to this Pennington guy, and then I'll just go back to my own world. Yeah, but now it's a different thing. Now I'm in love with Liana, and then this sort of thing happens, shit, it makes things complicated. I grab my goblet, taking huge, desperate gulps to calm myself. Leon's brows furrow. He found his case snapping between me and Liana. Yeah, he knows. He totally knows. Duke Pennington? He has to be at least 60 years old! <laughs> what? Seriously? Wait, Liana, you're marrying a 60-year-old guy? Her mother laughs. Oh my dear, of course not the Duke. That would be incredibly inappropriate. You're to be married to his son. Edward. Edward, my foot, man. You remember him, right? He was a bit of a skinny child. 
but he's grown into a very handsome man. Okay, Liana, you need to, you need to get your shit together now. You have, you need to pull me to your side and then say, this is my boyfriend, and I'm not letting you decide my life. Okay, I have my own mind. Liana seems as if she's in a daze. Okay, tell them. Engaged. Yeah, we are even consulting her. You know, this is. This is totally traditionalistic, totally too pragmatic. I hate this sort of this sort of, this sort of lifestyle, you know. Yeah, this sort of mindset is really it, no offense, but it's really dumb. Okay, this sort of mindset. Yes, dear. He's been away for a long time, but he's finally returned home. He's a very talented water mage. That's why he was called abroad. Actually, they needed his talents. Uh huh. So, love does not blossom. From pre prearranged marriages, okay. Yeah, because they are, they are you know you know those kind of traditional parents, they like to think that love you can just prearrange a marriage, right, and then love will blossom from there. But I don't believe in that shit. Seriously, okay. We're living the modern times now. you all not along to what his mother says. I think I remember Edward. He's a nice man, if I recall. Has a soft spot for children. Well, I mean, Leon didn't want didn't want to be rude. I can understand that, but still, you're rubbing salt to the wound. <laughs> yes, exactly. Of course, we wouldn't set you up with anyone less than the best. No, he's not the best. The best is me. Oh, Lady Don chats excitedly. Uh, Lord Don watches Liana with hawk eyes. Liana. She snaps back to attention. Huh? I mean. Yes, father? You don't seem to be very excited. Do you hear what we're saying? Of course she doesn't seem excited. You don't even know your, your, your daughter's mind, you know? You just decide whatever uh, whatever you think is best for her. Have you actually, actually spat a thought for your daughter? Like, seriously? Yes, father. I hear you. If I were Liana, I would have erupted right away. Yeah, but she also understands the situation. But we have to confront this with with Diana's parents. Like, actually, not sooner or later. Like right now, <laughs> the voice is really calm. However, I don't accept the engagement. You go, girl, Diana. You go, girl. Show them. Tell them. Her parents stare at her, stunned. Leon looks back and forth from Diana to his parents. His eyes seem to implore Diana. What do you mean you don't accept it? My dear, it's a very real thing that's happening. Nope, it's. I mean, it's a real thing that's happening, but nope, because I have found my one true love. I don't accept it. I'm not ready to be married yet. Then you better find a way to get ready because you will be married. Nope. Even no. Anger creeps into his voice and Liana features. I just need some more time. You sprang this upon me with no warning. How did you expect me to react? Yeah, there's going to be a quarrel now, but it, it has to be done. I expected you to act reasonably and accept your responsibility as a member of the Dawn family. I think Pixel needs to step in at this point in time. We need to defend Liana. I understand my responsibility, Father. And I'm not saying I refuse to ever be married, but I need more time. What could you possibly need more time for? For me. <laughs> for face of it. To live my life. The anger behind Liana's words briefly silences her father. His face turns red as his anger boils. Leon takes this moment to try to intervene. Father, perhaps the engagement can be postponed. He shoots his son a cutting though. Unless there is a reasonable explanation as to why this engagement should be postponed, I expect her to fulfill her duties as a lady of House Dawn. Well, he, there is a reasonable explanation. She has found her one true love. He slams his fist on the table, rattling the silverware. There's more to me than just being Lady of House Dawn. I'm a mage knight. Something you said a woman could never be. Yeah. Yana has her own mindset, okay? You gotta respect that, parents. I will hear no more of this. A lady cannot be a mage knight. Yana's mother tries to calm her husband down. 
Darling, please. I'm sure she'll come around to the idea. After all, we raised her to be proper and to keep the family proud. Drop that my foot, okay? I won't, Mother. Not if it means I can no longer be a mage knight. Lady Dawn looks at her daughter with a mixture of exhaustion and hurt. Leanna, dear. Please be reasonable. We can't always follow the whims of our fantasies. We have certain responsibilities which must be And what, what responsibilities is this? Why do you have to like follow the ru goddamn rules? Like, like, like rules are meant to be broken. Like if, if this is going to hurt your dignity, like no offense, but like screw you. <laughs> okay, screw you, seriously. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm the kind of guy who, who doesn't give a damn about rules. I mean, some rules definitely need to be followed, but you know that that's the thing that rules are meant to be broken. Okay, rules are meant to be flexibly broken. Okay, a person has needs to be flexible. Okay, not not like rigid, like like this kind like oh, being forced upon without consultation and all that shit. You know. Exactly. Why can't you be more like Leon? He understands his place in this family. Obviously, he understands his place because. He's a male, he knows what he needs to do. You, what, what? You're, you're telling me. <laughs> you're, Levin, are you telling me you want Leon to act like. Uh, are you telling me Leon will. You rather have Leon act like a, like a woman? <laughs> Leon ov obviously wouldn't want that. <laughs> if I were in her place, I would refuse too. See, Leon has his own mindset too. His parents recoil at his words, as if he would cut them with a knife. Lena blinks in surprise, then smiles softly, appreciative of his support. Leon, what are you saying? He, he goddamn knows what he's saying. Father, I am putting into practice what you've always taught me. Family comes first. Yeah, family comes first. Not all those rules and regulations and cus traditional customs and shit. Then why have you chosen to go against the family? He hasn't. I haven't. I support the marriage prospect you've chosen for Liana, but it is clear she does not want this. Yeah, and you're, and you're not sparing, sparing a thought for Liana. If being a mage knight makes her happy, then why can't we support her? She's already graduated from the program and earned her title and admission into the mage guild. These are no small accomplishments. Yeah, why can't you, you parents just respect that? They're just going to push her uh, accomplishments aside. Lord Don's chair screeches as he pushes himself away from the table. I have never been more disappointed in my children. You go, you go, you go sulk in a corner. Go think about this, okay? Turns and leaves with a flourish of his cloak. Darling, wait! Lady Don shoots one last look of frustration towards her children, then rushes after her children. Uh, uh, <laughs> rushes after her husband. Let them, let them come down first. Yeah. Leon stands up and brushes himself off. He gives Liana a sympathetic look, then walks after his parents, leaving us in silence. Liana crumples in her seat, holding her head in her hands. You did well, Liana. I mean, you, you, you tried your best, but... Yeah... I was seriously hoping that they would come around, but... It won't be... It's not that easy, seriously. She was so brave, awkward, to break the silence. Because I'm going to say she was so brave. Yena. She looks up at me with tired eyes. What you did back there was really brave. It takes guts to stand up for what you want. No change will ever be affected if the status quo is not challenged. Precisely, A.B. You said it best. <laughs> Ara nods. Your dad's kind of scary when he's angry. Well, naturally. <laughs> Yena flashes us a weak smile. Thanks, guys. She shakes her head. I'm so sorry you guys had to sit through that. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Well, I, I kind of expected this, so, you know. You don't have to apologize. She pushes herself to her feet. We should leave. We need to stop Void. And clearly there's nothing else to discuss here. And just leave your parents like this? Well, I guess this problem can be, you know, consulted later. Because right now, Void is the more pressing issue. Yeah, then once we actually manage to stop Void, 
a, a, a potentially deadly organization will show you know, Diana's parents just how much of a great achievement Diana has achieved. You know? May we need to remind them of the heroes of Isaria, which feature, which feature females, you know, yeah. Paras browse her room. Maybe we should stay the night. Yeah, but I think yeah, I think the better option is to stay the night. At least let them cool down first, and then see once they have cooled down. Once Diana's parents have cooled down, and then see what they have to say. Maybe they have some other thoughts or what. Hopefully. Why? You saw what my parents are like. But at least let them cool down first, you know. I know. Cara's voice is soft and careful. I know. But I really think we should stay. Give them time to think about it. Yeah. Especially your dad. Who knows? Maybe things will smooth over in the morning. Yeah, you never know, you know. Don't don't let don't we don't just leave and then like break off in a relationship like this. Yeah, that's cause. I doubt it. So stubborn. Well, we'll see. I mean, I mean, there's there's your brother Liu to try to convince him, you know. So you, you have to count on him too. Don't forget him. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. After all, you know your family best. But still, you know, yeah. Let them cool down first. I just know that if my dad were still here, I wouldn't want things to end like that. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if that was the last interaction I had with him. Oh yeah. I actually definitely wouldn't want that. Yeah. What if this was, yeah, uh, 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 the last interaction Liana has with her father? Then what? what uh, then something happened to their parents, then, then she'll regret it. Yeah. You know, we would definitely wouldn't want that. Yeah, Kara certainly wouldn't want Liana, someone else to face this same, this same thing. Liana stands with her arms crossed, thinking about Kara's words. Her muscles are taut. I still bright with tears. Finally, she nods. Her muscles unwind and she slumps a little. You're right. Kara smiles slightly. She pats Liana on the arm. Just give them time. You never know. You mean on the shoulder? How do how do you pat a person on the arm? <laughs> like just touch or something? I mean, it is it's more natural to pat on the shoulder. Liana half out a deep sigh. He doesn't sound too convinced. Well, gotta have hope. I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to turn in early. I need some time to think. Sure. I mean, I will accompany you though, Diana, if you if you're okay with that. Be not. Okay. Zack rises to a stack. I think I'm ready for bed too. Okay. So our beds are prepared. Our rooms are prepared, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I think the the servant showed us to our rooms. We all agree. Slowly we get to our feet and follow Liana out of the dining room. She leads us up the stairs to the hall of our rooms. As I reach my room, Zack pauses in my hot doorway. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. His voice starts me. Uh, yeah, why? It was pretty tense back there. <laughs> well, yeah, it was. And I know how close you two are. Yeah, but... I mean, when, when... When, when Liana's father mentioned the marriage, the engagement, yeah, I was shocked. I was definitely shocked. I mean, Mr. Fate was definitely shocked. He, he was like trembling, you know. And Zack noticed him. Yeah, noticed Mr. Trembling and all that. I know. Yeah, I can't imagine what Liana's feeling right now. Same. I feel Liana's pain, but also her anger. But I also feel sorry for myself too, which is the worst part because None of this should center around me. But when I heard that she was going to be engaged, it felt like someone took a sledgehammer and pounced my heart to pieces. Yeah, I'm worried about what Liana will decide. Even if she doesn't get married today, what about in the future? Will still will she still follow her family's wishes? Now I think I've done enough to make Liana choose me. Yeah, definitely. The words vomit out of me, but Zack listens patiently. When I'm done, he puts a comforting hand on my shoulder. Somehow, that gesture comes to me more than words would have. More than words! Zack starts to head over to his room. Rest on it. It'll be better in the morning. Yeah, just go to sleep, no? Have a good night's sleep. Even with this worry in your heart. Thanks. 
I closed the door behind me and tried to get settled. I haul the blankets up and close my eyes, but sleep eludes me. I toss and turn, but I can't seem to get comfortable. My mind starts to wander. Memories from tonight's dinner begin to flash through my head. Should I have done something? Said something? It was clear Liana didn't want to do this, and the very thought of her marrying someone else I let out a growl, a growl, a growl of frustration, rolling over onto my stomach and throwing, throwing the pillow onto my head, or rather over my head. What was I going to do if Liana decided to go through with this? I would be heartbroken. Would her parents fail her to their side? Then what? The thought of Liana never being able to go on missions again or do what she loves. Nah, uh, I'm sure Liana has definitely made up her mind. She she said so earlier that she wants to leave, you know, so... Maybe I should check on her. Yeah, yeah, we definitely should. Feeling restless, I tiptoe out of my room and over to Liana's. Gently, I, lock, I knock on the door. The door opens almost immediately. Liana? She bites a bit. Hey. Fine if I come in. Her eyes are a little red and puffy as though she's been crying. I think she has been crying. I wanted to see if you're doing okay. She shuts, glancing at the ground. Do you want to come in? Yeah, of course. Yeah. She steps aside and closes the door behind me. My heart twists. I hate seeing Liana so upset like this. Oh, so this is Liana's room. Eh? Even Liana's room also has this sundown symbol thingy. I guess this is representative of the Dawn family, maybe? Yeah, but her room looks really nice. Yeah, the blue bed, everything bluish and all. Actually, more like turquoise. And then there's the blue china vase to the right. Yeah, very nice. And then those are blue crystals, right? Yeah. She flops down on her bed. Her voice is low and tired. I just don't know what to do. I feel so torn. Well, just do what you feel like doing, you know. Just go, uh, go along with your wishes, you know. Yeah, do as your heart desires. She shakes her head. I've always respected my parents' wishes. I've always done what's expected and followed my duty. But uh, yeah, we should listen to Diana first. She lets out a shuddering breath. But this is the one thing I don't think I can do, even though it's the most important. I stroke her back, not saying anything, only listening, yeah. I mean, this is the point where our Diana definitely wants a listening ear, and I'm her listening ear, yeah. Diana seems to relax slightly under my touch. What do you think I should do? Like, I say, go with your wishes. And I think there's still definitely going to be a choice, but my choice will definitely be to go with your wishes. Okay, but just to be sure, okay. Okay, because, just to be sure, okay, but I will not go backwards with my decision, but my decision will be go with your wishes. You should do whatever you want, you should listen to your parents, I feel just as conflicted as you. Uh, it's either the first or the third choice, I'm definitely not going with the second choice, which is you should listen to your parents, no. Okay, I feel just as conflicted as you. But then, we are not come to a solution. Like I said, you should do whatever you want, but I wouldn't phrase it like this. I would have said, do as you wish, you know. Go go with your wishes, go along with your wishes. You are you are you are free to think what you will. You know? I don't understand why you care so much about their opinion. You should just do what you want. Then I found. I can't do whatever I want. I have responsibilities. I know I'm being selfish, but still. Yeah, but you can still do your own thing. And that's from deepens. No, I really can't. I have to honor them. Maybe I should have chosen. I feel as conflicted. Honoring your parents and obeying everything they tell you to do are two different things. Her brows crinkle in thought. Finally, she shakes her head. I think we just have two different ideas about this. But thank you for your opinion anyway. I really appreciate you telling me what you think. Ah, is this a bad choice? I not. I don't think that's necessarily the answer she wanted to hear. 
but at least I was honest enough to give her my opinion. Well, that, w that was my honest opinion, so yeah. I'm sure no matter what you decide to do, everything will turn out okay. Nina smiles at me. The gentle glow from the crystal lamps embracing embrace her, bathing her in a soft, daffodil glow. Uh, maybe I should try out the, the completed choice. Yeah, I mean, it is difficult, you know. I'm sorry, but I really don't know what to tell you. I know it's not what she wants to hear, but it's the truth. Nina's brows crinkle into a frown. You don't have any thoughts on this? Yeah, the the third choice is definitely the wrong choice. <laughs> what do you think I should do? Yeah, like I say, I, I I you know I went with my gut feeling. So my gut feeling is you, you should is you should do whatever you want. So yeah, this is definitely what I sh this is what I went for, and I will go with this. I will stick with this. Alright, so okay. So yeah, soft daffodil glow. But this is not This is so lucky to have someone like me. Yeah. Because because I mean the the first choice that I choose it sounded like a bad choice, but actually I think it's not a bad choice because at least I express my opinion, you know. Even though we have different different views about it. I still express my views in the end, right? Because I do feel that you should just do whatever you you feel. Just go, just yeah, do what you will, you know. Just go along with your wishes, you know. Yeah. So, anyway, that third choice that I choose, yeah, that, that third choice actually leads more to like, do I have any thoughts about this? Yeah. Which is even worse, actually. <laughs> do you have any thoughts about this? Yeah. I, at least I've thought like. I feel that you should do whatever you want. I mean, like, you can balance things out, you know? Yeah. I smile. Where did that come from? She looks down. It must be really hard for you to talk about this stuff with me. Well, I mean, it is hard, but I at least try to share it, share, you know, share my thoughts, you know? I'll admit that it's not easy to think about the fact that we might not be together. But ultimately, I care about your happiness. She softens and gives me a kiss on the cheek. A kiss on the cheek. I mean, she still loves me. That's one of the things I like about you. <laughs> Thank you. She smiles again. Being honest, yeah. I mean, when it comes to a relationship, it's all about being honest. Yeah. And when a girl asks you for your opinion, you should genuinely tell her your opinion. Don't just say you don't know, you know. Okay. Otherwise, you will hurt her. Like you don't care about any she'll say you don't care about any of this? No? Yeah, that's sort of thing. Among many other things. Many other things? I smile back. She seems to be a bit more relaxed after talking. I'm glad. Maybe she'll be able to get some sleep. It's getting pretty late. I should go back. She nods and walks me to the door. Thanks for checking up on me. No problem. Of course, I was worried about you. I stroke her cheek and she leans into my touch. Gently, I tip her face towards me. She gazes at me with half lidded eyes. As she, as she closes them, I press my lips against hers. Yet, yeah. our love is sealed. Breathlessly, we pull away. She steals another quick kiss and then opens the door. Yeah, so the, the choice that I made... Because I said, before I made that choice, right, I, I said, I will go with my, my gut... Not say gut feeling, but... I made my decision. I will, you know, I will just tell her, just do what you feel like doing, you know. As in, like, just go along with your wishes. Yeah, do what you will. Yeah, and, and that's my decision. But I was just, like, curious. Maybe the third choice might be better. Because when I choose that first option, it's like she said, she, she kind of frowned. Yeah, but so I thought maybe, like, the, it was the wrong choice. Yeah, but yeah, but I think it's still okay, though. Because after that, she smiled and all that. Yeah, but, um, so I was just like, maybe curious, just choose the third choice, see what happens, you know, so, it, apparently the third choice is even worse. So, yeah, first choice it is. Good night. Good night, Diana. The door closes behind me. I turn around and nearly run straight into Leon. Oh, Leon. <clears throat> uh, uh, oh, 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 what? <laughs> my stomach nods, but I try to keep my cool. 
uh, hello. <laughs> I didn't just come out of Liana's room, you know. Just saying. <laughs> so obvious. He's changed into more comfortable clothes, but it doesn't look like he's gone to bed yet. What's he still doing up? I'm pretty sure your room is further down the hall. Look okay, at music. <laughs> it doesn't look like you've changed. He cocks his head, green eyes twinkling with amusement. Yep, and that's exactly why I'm hated. What are you still doing up? He laughs and crosses his arms. I woke up and wanted a glass of water. The real question is, what were you doing in my sister's room so late at night? Well, obviously cheering her up. It's not like I'm gonna do it with her. Well, not yet. She was looking for some advice. Just saying goodnight to my bestest friend. <laughs> I wasn't in there. Well, I mean, looking for some advice. You know, nothing wrong with that. There's no point in lying. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. And I wanted some advice. Young, young blinks. Oh. Yeah, you know. I don't think he expected me to be so straightforward with my answer. No need to be dilly dally about it. You know, just. Yeah, just be straight to the point, you know. I see. I see. You see what? <laughs> His face changes into a compassionate but worried smile. I'm sure everything will work out. My father tends to be a bit stubborn at times. But I know he cares about us. He just needs a while to think about it. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's, it's a shock to him. So, it's people, it's, it's, it's a natural behavior of humans to, you know, take some time to relax, calm down first. They rethink through things. Yeah, after, yeah. They need time to think, you know. Because when they're in a state Because that's that's the power of emotions. When an emotion overwhelms you, you can't think straight. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter what emotion. Be it depression, uh yeah, anger and all that. You know, that's why emotion is a very powerful thing and it can be pretty deadly, you know. You don't know how to control it. I not, not really knowing what to say. I hope he's right. I hope her parents can go a little easier on her in the morning. Leon taps his chin in thought. Still sneaking around this late at night. Someone could get the wrong impression. You should be more careful. <laughs> alright, alright, all right, I will, I will. Uh, uh, <laughs> thanks. Leon's expression is unreadable. I find the urge to squirm and force myself to stay calm. Made it through the conversation so far. What's a few more minutes? Finally, cracks a smile. Well, I'm off to bed. Sleep well. You too, sleep tight. Better not let the bed bugs bite you. Whatever that is. <laughs> Alright, you too. He turns away and strolls down the hallway to his room. I hurry back to my room and close the door, letting out deep breath of relief. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm so glad that was over. Dion was definitely suspicious. I sleep under the covers and crawl into bed. No, I think after talking with Liana, I think we at least feel feel better and we should be able to sleep better. Maybe it was because I'm worn up from all the stress, but this time sleep finds me quickly. Yeah, also get to release our stress you know, with Liana, so yeah. 